Welcome everybody to Miguel and Evan talk about music. We've got some opinions, we've got some things written down, and we're just gonna talk about them. Our first list is gonna be the top five rappers based on their impact. I'll go first with my first one. Uh, these are in no particular order, by the way. My first one I have is Tupac. All right, I also have Tupac on my list, so that's what we have in common. I would say my next one is Jay-Z. Not necessarily based on like what his music has done, but just the way that he's come up in the rap game and the way that he's influenced other rappers and gotten a lot of other rappers noticed. Yeah, uh, and then the my second one is Eminem. I mean, I feel like his impact is uh, pretty clear. He's influenced guys like Kendrick Lamar, Tyler the Creator, um, Earl Sweatshirt. Just a lot of uh, guys that not necessarily um, have his same exact style, but just grew up listening to him and um, you know took up that kind of lyricism role. And he's pretty much influenced every single white rapper in the game because he was the first one. <laughs> Yeah, my next pick is kind of similar to Eminem in terms of just the way that he's, just his style has influenced rappers, is Kid Cudi, um, just based on the way that, like before Cudi, a lot of, or pretty much all of rap was just like gangster, trying to be as tough as possible, and Cudi really opened it up to being vulnerable about like mental health and just being more sensitive and not so impenetrable. Yeah, the the third one on my list is Lil Wayne, which he uh take to take it literally, he influenced all the Lils uh in the in the game right now. He kind of took up that more um I don't wanna say drug addicted, but <laughs> <laughs> but more kind of style we've seen in the modern age currently. Uh, which, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of, but you can't deny the influence. Uh, yeah, my next pick actually influenced Lil Wayne, um, which would be Outkast, who really put this rap group, not a rapper, but still. Um, they really just put Southern hip-hop on the scene. Nobody was really listening to anything other than East Coast and West Coast until Outkast came out, and then they really put Southern hip-hop on the map. Yeah, my uh, next pick is still more of a modern pick, even more modern than Lil Wayne. I have Travis Scott, which he influenced um, the trap side of uh, rap that we have seen for really the past you know, like 10, 15 years. It's really grown a lot of popularity, which uh, I mean, I really enjoy. All right, my final pick, another one not really based on like his rapping, but more producing would be Dr. Dre. Just the number of artists that he's produced for and helped to get to where they are. Snoop Dogg, Tupac, Eminem, 50 Cent, some of the greatest rappers of all time got their start from Dr. Dre, so I think he deserves a spot on this list. See, I was stuck between him and this next artist, but I, chose this next artist just because I had I already had Eminem and I guess I know Dr. Dre influenced Eminem uh, but I felt like they were really similar but I have uh, Drake which you know he it influenced the kind of the artists that are like kind of down the middle between pop star and rapper uh, which you know before Drake wasn't really super common you were either fully dedicated to rap or you know, you were a pop star, and he kind of rode that line. He's still riding that line of the singing rapper that, you know, is more of a focused on creating hits than making good rap songs. Yeah. Um, I also have an honorable mention for Kanye West. Just the way that kind of like Cuddy changed the content of raps. Again, uh, moving away from gangster rap into more of like stadium anthems. But I don't think that he's quite as influential as my other five on my list. All right, our next uh, category that we're gonna be ranking rappers in is storytelling. Uh, Miguel, do you wanna go first on that one? 
Uh, yeah, so I based this off when I listen to some of their songs, can I see what they're uh, rapping about? Can I see, you know, um, if they're telling a story, is it still a good song while still telling a coherent story? And number one, I think he takes the cake for all of this, um, Kendrick Lamar. I mean, he... If th it's basically just all of Good Kid, Mad City, and some of To Pimp a Butterfly, but I was really diving into the lyrics to some uh, Good Kid, Mad City songs, and I really understood where what he was talking about and where he was coming from um, in his experiences, and I thought that was just really amazing. Yeah, Kendrick Lamar was on my list as well. Uh, my second one, who also does this really well, similar to Kendrick, uh, J. Cole. I mean... When I listen to Forest Hills Drive, songs like, you know, Wet Dreams, Love Yours, um, For Your Eyes Only, I know that's not on Forest Hills Drive, but still, um, they're just, once again, great storytelling songs that I can, I can see what's going on, it's also just a great song. Yeah, cool. Again, was on my list as well, two for two in matches so far. <laughs> uh, next up, I have Eminem, uh, you know, Stan. Um, when I'm Gone, Mockingbird, great storytelling songs. Yep, Eminem's on my list as well. Uh, fourth one, fourth and fifth, I was kind of struggling coming up with, but I have uh, Kanye. You know, he's still not known for his um, storytelling ability, but he's still got some good storytelling songs. I didn't have Kanye on my list. Our first uh, disparity next on my list is Immortal Technique. Uh, not a lot of people... I feel like listen to him that much, but he has some really interesting songs where it just feels like he's telling you a story and you don't even remember that you're listening to a song, but like it still is a good song, so that's why he's on my list. And my last one was Outkast. Uh, you know they've got great songs that they they tell a great story and you know. Some of them have, like, hidden meanings that, you know, you have to take a few listens to figure out. But, I mean, great songs and then just great storytelling aspects. Yeah, I had Outkast as an honorable mention along with Jay-Z. But my fifth pick for top five storytelling rappers is Nas. Um, kind of the same reason as Immortal Technique. Like, you just get so involved in the story that you kind of forget everything else is there. All right, and now we're going on to rappers with the best flow. You know, maybe they don't have the best lyrics, lyrical content, but you know, you can just bob their head with their music. So first one on my list, I have Kendrick. I don't have Kendrick on my list. Um, he's not even an honorable mention, honestly. Um, I had Jay-Z as my first pick on there. I just think he's one of the most enjoyable artists to listen to. Uh, it doesn't have the deepest songs most of the time, but I really can't think of a song where Jay-Z isn't good. Like, even on some of his so-called worst albums, I think most of the content there is still enjoyable. Uh, second one I know I have, I know in the hip-hop community, he's kind of controversial, um, but if you just want to listen to a good song without paying attention to the lyrics, I feel like Logic is one of your... Um, the people you want to go to, you know, back when I used to listen to music, uh, without, you know, paying attention <laughs> to the lyrics. Back when you used to listen to music? Well, when I would listen to music, not for the lyrics, okay. but just for the sound, Logic was one of my favorite artists, but then when I started diving into the lyrics, that's when I moved away from him and uh, started listening to other artists. That's, yeah, I'd say that's a fair pick. My next one is Snoop Dogg. Kind of the same thing as Jay-Z, just it's always enjoyable to listen to him. Uh, really one of the most uh, prevalent artists in the G-Funk genre of hip-hop. It's just enjoyable to listen to. I could listen to him all day. Uh, next spot on my list, I have J. Cole. You know, even though he does have some good lyrical content, if you just want to put on his music and just relax you know you can do that he's got a great mixture of kind of chill songs and uh you know more hype songs you know he's got a good variety so i just like to put him on yeah i don't have him on my list but i do think that is a good pick i like what you mentioned about the variety that he brings uh my next pick another west coast artist 
would be Tupac. Just the way that he can get you to enjoy a song while he's like preaching to you about something is, in my opinion, pretty unmatched in the industry. I don't think anybody really combines the conscious rap with just like having a good time the way that he can. Yeah, that's fair. I had him as an honorable mention. Um, my next two are, I don't think you're going to really like, but I have uh, number four, Travis Scott. Uh, just another one of those, you can just put their music on, not pay attention to the lyrics and just, you know, vibe out. Another great mixture of, you know, hype trap songs with some more chill ones like 90210. Um, my next pick, pretty easy one, Nas making the list again. Uh, I don't really know how much I need to say. He's one of, if not the best rapper of all time. Um, yeah, I, that's really all I need to say. Uh, my next pick is even more controversial. Oh, Here God. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I have Offset. The only reason I even listen to the Migos is because of him and how he uh, his delivery on his songs. And I listen to a lot of the solo stuff, too. Um but yeah, I mean, I just think he flows really well on some, you know, more modern trap style beats. I would say that's a better pick than Travis Scott, honestly. I would say overall Travis is probably a better artist, but solely in terms of flow, I would take Offset. Um, my next pick, Twista. Um, everybody usually thinks of Eminem as like the fastest rapper, but... I honestly think Twista has some more impressive speed than Eminem does, and the way that he can actually be intelligible while he's going that fast, I think is pretty impressive. Our next category then will be the rappers with the best lyrics. I'll go ahead and start this one off with Tupac, kind of a no-brainer there. Um, just the impact of his lyrics, I feel like, more so than the double entendres and like complexity, but the way that he brings the impact with his lyrics, I feel like is really impressive. Yeah, I also had Tupac on my list. Let's see if we can go five for five on this one. Uh, it might be close, honestly. Uh, my next one, Eminem. Yep, same. Uh, really, again, don't need to say much for him. He's one of the most talented lyricists, if not the most talented lyricist of all time, the way that he can rhyme words that shouldn't rhyme um, is really impressive. The way he uses uh, internal rhyme also, the way he can rhyme an entire line is also pretty cool. Uh, my next pick, Kendrick Lamar. Three for three. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Kendrick, same thing as Eminem. I would say not quite as impressive mostly just because his discography isn't quite as extensive, so he hasn't had as many songs to do that with. Um, next pick, Nas. Dang. Um, again, Nas, just one of the best rappers of all time. Uh, has similar skills to Eminem with the internal and near rhyming, uh, adding to some of that complexity. Also has a lot of interesting puns and double entendres in there. Uh, I have the Notorious B.I.G., I think. Uh, I just love, um, he, he's really witty with a lot of his lines. He creates great punch lines and kind of similar to um, Eminem, uh, just with how the way he rhymes and the double entendres. And it just makes me really enjoy his music. Yeah, I also had Biggie on my list. He was my last pick. I personally am not a huge fan of his music, but I have to respect the talent that he has on the mic, um, like you said, with the double entendres and punchlines. Uh, I had honorable mention for Lil Wayne, who I feel like gets slept on as a lyricist, but he has some of the funniest puns, in my opinion, like real G's move in silence like lasagna. That's one of my favorite rap lines of all time. Uh, so I feel like he deserves to at least be mentioned in this conversation. Yeah, he was my number five, actually. There we go. I was struggling between um, Lil Wayne and Jay-Z, but um, I listened to some of their songs last night, and I was more drawn to Lil Wayne's lyricism than Jay-Z's. Our final category uh, is beats. Uh, not necessarily 
rappers that are also producers, but just the beats that the rappers use in their songs. Um, although my first pick is also a producer and, in my opinion, the best producer there is, Dr. Dre. Um, I don't really think I need to say anything else. It's Dr. Dre. Yeah, I I was struggling between Dr. Dre and a bunch of different artists, but um, I chose I landed on him because well, he those are all Dr. Dre beats. Eminem, Snoop Dogg, um, you know N.W.A. All of those are Dr. Dre beats. Tupac and Tupac, yeah, they're all Dr. Dre beats. So I just landed on him. Uh, my next pick was Jay Z. He uses a lot of samples in interesting ways that I like, and I really can't think of a Jay-Z song with a beat that I don't enjoy. Um, my second pick uh, is Logic. You know, he, he mainly works with uh, two producers, No ID and Six, uh, and they're both, I mean, extremely talented. Like I, like I said before, it used to be, if a uh, rap song has a good beat and a good flow, guaranteed I'll like it, no matter the lyrics. Um, so that's really what got me into Logic. My next pick, Snoop Dogg. Um, I just love Dre's production so much, and he does a lot of it for Snoop Dogg, and I feel like Snoop Dogg utilizes those beats better than some of Dre's other um, protégés, I guess, and so I feel like he deserves to be on that list. Yeah, I you mentioned J. Cole, and I have him on my list. Um, I like his use of samples. You know, he a lot of, on a lot of his songs, he's got great samples. Um, and I just think sometimes I even like those kind of simpler beats, uh, but I mean, they, they work with J. Cole's style, and that's why I have uh, J. Cole on my list. Um, my next pick would be Ice Cube. Um, obviously with NWA, he had Dre beats, but even once he left, he was able to really keep that West Coast style, even getting production not from Dre, which I think was really cool. And honestly, some of those beats might have been better than the beats he was getting with N.W.A. Yeah, I mean, my next pick, um, Trap Scott. <laughs> I saw that one coming. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he's got great production. Like, uh, I know you can't deny he's got great production on a lot of his songs. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think he collaborates a lot with um, Metro Boomin, and so does my next pick. And he's one of my favorite producers. Um, in the game right now because he's got a lot of modern ones he's great use of samples um, and he's just a great producer you want to go ahead and do your other one since it's related yeah the Migos <laughs> I quit <laughs> <laughs> they've got great beats man I, I, they do on and some songs yes but best of all time well I don't listen to every single artist all the time okay so. Okay, dude. You can keep your Migos, I guess. Uh, my next pick, much better than Migos, the far superior Southern hip hop group. I'm going with Outkast again. Uh, really unmatched uh, in terms of the Southern hip hop sound. And I also had honorable mentions for Kanye West and Kid Cudi, who both have really unique sounds that I like, but some of their more recent music has been not great in terms of the beats uh some of kanye's has been bad in my opinion um so i just didn't think they were quite in that top level but deserved a mention so that'll do it for this uh first episode of miguel and evan talk about music we'll see you guys next time